Hello, welcome. Episode 15 of the ratio and proportion. And in this episode, we'll be treating the indirect proportion as the second type of proportion. So indirect proportion involves the comparison between two quantities such that an increase in one quantity causes a decrease in the other quantity and vice versa. Simply put, an, a decrease in the first quantity will cause an increase in the other quantity. So it's going to be as one is increasing, the other is decreasing. As one is decreasing, the other is increasing. We can also represent this in uh, a graph as in this way. Since there are two quantities, let's take the two quantities, one to be n and the other is p. So as this is increasing, this will be decreasing. So we can have the graph moving this way. How do we explain that? Let's take this as the beginning point. We know zero will be here. If I have one here, I can have one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. So if the first point, that form here, is one and four, if I increase from one to two, this is going to decrease and come to somewhere 1.5. As I increase to three, you see that the 1.5 will also decrease. If you move to four, it will decrease further below one. So as this P is increasing, then the N is decreasing. So that is a representation of indirect variation. Uh, yes, indirect variation or indirect proportion. All right. So we can also take, for example, if five girls were given uh, 30 minutes to sweep a class. You know, five girls are sweeping a class in 30 minutes. If we increase the number of girls, let's say to 10, working at the same rate, you will see that they will need less than 30 minutes to complete the work. If the same classroom, the same working rate, five of them were doing it 10, 30 minutes. Now we increase the number of girls. It means the minute will decrease. The same way, if we decrease the number of girls, they will require more time to complete the work. That is indirect proportion. So we are going to use that idea in solving these questions. And in doing that, in our previous episode under direct variation, we deal with finding a proportion of the two ratios. So the first thing we do is we will locate the two ratios present in the question. Then we write a proportion of them but change the position of the second ratio. You see, the first one is, if 30 workers can dig a pit in 21 days, so workers and days are the two quantities. How many days will 40 workers take to dig the same pit working at the same rate? So we find ratios. First of all, identify the ratios. So I can have ratio of workers is going to be equals to the first information for a worker is 30. So I have 30 is 2. The next information for a worker is 14. So 14 workers. So this is a ratio for workers. Then we find ratio of days. So let's go and find how many days were mentioned first. 21 days. So these 21 days is 2. The next days. So now we are asked to find that one, which is not known. So we use any variable to represent. So first of all, identify the ratios, the two ratios. Ratio 1, ratio 2. Then we write them as what? A proportion. So we can say that uh, by... Indirect proportion, we are doing proportion. This is going to be 30 is to 14 equals to y is to 21. 
you know the previous episode we don't change the position of the second ratio the way it is we use it to find the proportion but because this is indirect we are using the position being changed in order to find the value we are looking for so now we can write this as a fraction 30 on 14 y on 21 and we know we can easily get a common factor of uh, 2 going here 7 times uh, going here uh, 15 and 7 but we can also cross multiply to have 14y equals to 30 times what? 21 we mentioned that if two ratios are said to be proportional then it means that their cross product will also be equal so we find the cross product and see whether that will be equal so this will become 14y divided by 14 30 times 21 divided by 14 we know y will be equals to uh, 2 will go here uh, 7 2 will go here 15 this 2 this 7 will go here Three times so that will give us 45 so it means that we are going to use 45 so therefore 14 workers we use 45 45 bits they will require 45 bits let's check 30 Workers, we have 14. 30 has been reduced to 14. Therefore, 21 is increased to 45. So this is under uh, indirect proportion. All right, we can also use the second method and see if we arrive at the same answer. Okay, for the second, we are also going to use if more less approach procedure. So we are going to begin by saying that if 30 workers can work in 21 days, then 14 workers will work either more than 21 or less. So the answer which is going to be either more or less determine which of the workers will divide. Already we know that if 30 people are working in 21 days, if you reduce them, and if they are working at the same rate, they will require more than 21 days. So if the days will be more, then the less of these two comparisons divide. Meaning, 30 divided by 40, which is less, times 21 days. We know this will go, 2 will go here, 7, 15. 7 here, 1, 3. So we still have what? 45, 45 days. So in this calculation also, we had 45 days. We can say that 40 workers will require 45 days to dig the same pit. I believe you get it? Good. The second question is for you. If 10 painters can take 8 days to paint a house, how long will it take 20 painters to paint the same house working at the same rate? Solve that. Share your answer in the comment section. Let's get interactive. Bye-bye.